What's up New York? Najuma here inside of one of Brooklyn's finest restaurants, Footprints Cafe, located on 1521 Surf Avenue here in beautiful New York City. But joining me right now is one of today's most gifted talents in the music industry, Mr. Killer. What's up? Everything alright, everything pretty, everything nice, everything sweet, everything cool, everything calm. All of the good words right now. Really? Okay, for those at home who don't know who Mr. Killer is, tell them, who is Mr. Killer? Well, actually, my right name is Hollis Mapp, a.k.a. Mr. Killer. Um, actually, I'm from um, um, Stone Hill, Canton Spring. Gun battle, go off tongue, all these names is, is from not a big place, but it's a small place with a lot of characters and vibe and you know, in Grenada. Um, I am 28. Um, what else I should say? Right now, I'm just striving hard in the whole music industry. Um, I'm a soca artist, I've uh, been doing this from the age of 10. Um, I started doing dancehall and, 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 and reggae and now I branch into soca music like 11 years now and that is where I am at today. A 10 year old boy growing up, growing up in Grenada, what gave you the inspiration? What made you want to do music, want to sing, perform? Well I keep telling people the same story. I remember when, um, <clears throat> when it all started. I remember the first thing I saw on television was uh, a show with Superman and them time they, you know, mama had the, the little black and white TV with the knobs that you have to turn, you know, the, you know them TV, right? With the knobs you have to turn and the first thing I, I saw was a, was a show with Superman and then I, as a child I wanted to be Superman but then I realized after a while, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't fly. You catch it? <laughs> I, I couldn't fly. The second thing I saw on, on, um, on, on television was, was a show with Michael Jackson. And that is when it all started. You know, I, I, I saw, I, I, I heard the music, I saw the dancing and, and everything and it was crazy. And it played with my mind, you understand? And from that time, I just wanted to be an entertainer. I wanted to be able to dance like that. I wanted to be able to sing like that, you understand? I mean, in the Caribbean, we, we, we was locked on to, to more of the um, reggae music, more of the dancehall music. And I started, you know, um, at the age of... 9, 10, what happened is that when going to the shop in the evening time, when mama sent me to the shop. When you say the shop, what do you mean? Well, you know, the, 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 the corner, how you call it in Brooklyn, the corner what? store. What? Yeah, <laughs> the shop, you know. The Caribbean people know what I'm speaking about, or the supermarket. When she sent us to the, to the shop, there was a barber shop that down the road um, where the guys will gather in the evening time and they will, they will, they will be chatting on the mic and dubbing and having competition and, and I will get licks regular because I will reach home late, you know, I will get caught up in, in the music thing and I wanted to do that so after school I started to run away in the evening time, you know, going there and, and looking and listening and understanding what it was but I guess the father design your steps in a way so you could find your destiny you know and in the back of my mind i wanted it so bad it's like the secret of attraction it just build the steps in a way where i could find music and there's where i found it and i used to run away every evening get licks every day for running away but I was running away from my music mm -hmm. and you know I started going at the barber shop I wasn't even, they didn't even want me inside at the time but one day you know um, um, I, I end up on the, on the mic you understand and then I started and one of the men said Lord this you bad and when, when, I, when I got that love it was the most I don't know how to explain it it was the most intriguing thing to my mind to my heart somebody appreciated what I did you understand and as a child getting that 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 forward I will go home every day and start building my little track and ready to clash and I started clashing the big men you understand why I showing you in 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 the barber shop every evening and then they call me they say no but this youth bad and I said he's a killer and I say a killer you know how the terms go musical killer and that is where I get the name they call first name I had was baby 
the original killer so i was baby killer you understand them time there and i just tried from the growing up in in grenada i realized after a while it's like the the dance and the reggae music as a grenadian artist you understand what i'm showing you wasn't causing the 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 the, the, the waves that Wait, you that to interrupt but so you started out doing dance hall yeah, I started off doing um, a reggae and dancehall music and I realized well in Grenada at the time that wasn't creating the waves that that that, that um, was carrying me on the journey way by my dreams really really was surfacing in my mind you know at the moment I wanted to do big things for my for my youth so um, carnival came around and then I see the trucks passing and people jumping up and these guys on the mic the artists on them on the mic and they was mashing up the place people doing things people whining and you know and it was a it was a faster music you know and the capability was there i mean from the, from i heard the first soca rhythm i know i i could do it you understand what i'm showing you because i don't know it was just there the talent was there it, it was embedded in me you know so no matter what rhythm you turn on i could have jump on whether rap dancehall reggae soul or jazz don't matter so i jump on the first so carry the man Can. <laughs> speaking of which because currently you are known for your stage shows your stage performances where do, where do you get your ideas from? Like, what drives you? Well, I mean, the father is, is, is my main strength, you know? But after that, what drives me is me and my music. You understand why I'm showing you? I know that I have the capability. That, that gives me an A. You understand why I'm showing you? And what gives me the A plus is that the people love what I do. You know, so my fans actually give me that, that urge to continue, just like how the first person said to me as a youth in the barber shop, wow, yo, youth, you're bad. You know, and they, they hold me and they hug me. And when I, when, I, when I felt that love, it went deep. You understand what I'm showing you? And I keep searching for that same love. You understand? Earning it from not just one or two or three or four persons, but hundreds upon hundreds and then it grew into thousands you know and thousands and and now i i, I want to make sure that i make it grow into millions upon millions you know and it's just that love looking to spread and to gain for those who don't know mr killer has won four titles in grenada like soka monarch road march ruby monarch tell the people about that I mean, when I, when, I, when I started out, I, as I said, I, I, I talk it now and like my skin's at risk because I could feel the journey. You know, um, in Grenada, I won everything when it comes to talent. From the first talent search they ever had in the, in the, on the island, from that coming up, I just started to lick up every competition there was. I started to travel around the island, battling, you understand, know, doing a musical battle. And, and then after a while, I realized, you know, music is not about battle music is not just about you know someone showing you the competition but it's, it's a greater mission you know and and trying to find the right position right now you're a household name in grenada but what is your mission i don't i don't i don't just i mean there is islands like saint lucia you know um major parts of trinidad um tobago um Vinci that I mean I am I am known New York um, um, Miami Texas um, Canada you know and that is on the Caribbean scene and on the soca market right now my whole mission is to actually just like how I I did dance and reggae and how I did um, I, I left dance and reggae and not left it you know but i mean jump on the train that will carry me to the position where i can do whatever i want when it come to music and you know someone showing you creativity so right now my mission is actually jumping on the next train to <laughs> to carry me to that level where my dreams are at. to not just become the household name not just in the house but in the backyard and on the streets and in the club, you understand why I'm showing you? In the desert, 
when people are hiking, when people climbing the mountain, somebody on a ski trip, then as someone showing you will call my name. For those at home who are not familiar with your music, give us a sample, give us a taste of Mr. Killer. Give us the show us the reason why everyone was saying at ten years old, yo, are you the bad man? Well, I mean <laughs> you put me on the spot. But this is my job. I did a song for my island called Spice Ira, you know what I mean, creating um, music that people will really appreciate, um, no matter where you're from. And at the time, my island, you know, someone showing you, was gravitating to my music in a way. And I, I did songs like, like this, like, Whoa, the rock. She want a spice style rock. Well, welcome to the rock. She love the spice style rock. Mm, oh, the rock. She love the spice style rock. Well, welcome to the rock. She love the spice style rock. Like. Boom! The other day me go a club out of London Who approached me this beautiful woman She said, excuse me, could I ask you a question? Me say, show sure, baby, please just prolong The woman turned, she asked me where me come from She me come from down a Spice Island I could have see it in a she eye She already won this island boy She hold my hand, she pull me upon the dance floor Hold me tight and she won't let me go When me try walk, the woman pull me back And in a me here, she start talking and she say the rock, she love the spice style rock. Say well, welcome to the rock. She love the spice style rock. Mmm, oh the rock. She love the spice style rock. So I'm assuming the spice style rock is that you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, when you listen to music, music you have to tell a story and then you have to have meanings. You understand what I'm showing you? So, now, the spice I rock is the spice I rock and, you know, yeah. the rock. <laughs> Mr. Killer, I've had the opportunity to speak with you on the outside. And one of the things that I find really appealing about you is your love for your mother. Right? That she is your rock. Tell me about that. When you, when you, when you, when you, when I think about my 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 mother, I think about the the, the queen, you know, of our queen. I think about that 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 earth angel, that that guidance over me, you know. My mother is great. She's she's wonderful. I I thank God for each and every day, you know. And when I go on stage, some people say, yo. Big up and who make you understand know, the slangs and energy and this and you know they say all kind of thing. But every time I reach on stage, they hear I say, "Mommy, you understand why she and that is my slang." You know, she 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 is she responsible for a lot. Catch it? When she punished me when I was younger, he taught me values. He taught me respect. Teach me how to have honor, and I adore the grounds that she walk upon. You know. Because the Bible says, honor thy mother and thy father, you know. I love my daddy too. But you see, my mother is a whole different love. She carry that burden, you know. And I just see some, some youths disrespecting their mother. And it, it aches my heart. And I don't think, don't matter what your mother may do, because not all mothers out there that actually balance with their children how they're supposed to. Because even the Bible says parents, you know, don't drive your, your children to anger, you know. And you have some parents be, might be wicked to their kids. And I will still tell the youth man out there, if, that, if you're in that position, still try for sure that ultimate love, you know. Because what she did for you, I don't think you could repay her. You understand what I'm showing you? you? You can't repay her. So don't fight. If the parents not doing right, leave them on their own vibe. You understand what I'm showing you? For real, leave my man your own vibe and you hold your vibe and you think about your future and think about your life. And then when you have your kids, be the parent to your kids that you never had. You know? And, but to my mother, she treat me right. Now and then she give me some good thump. You know? <laughs> At 28 years old? <laughs> yeah, up to now my mother does still want thump me. You know, someone is showing you, know, she might tell me something and I say, yo, yo, mama, I'm a big man now, what, what are you doing? Why are you talking to me like? I just say, big man, big man can't rain. 
Big man can reign in her world when it comes to me, no matter how old I am, because she's always my mother and I always are a child. You understand why she's reigning? He's not lying. His phone rang not too long ago and it was like, Mommy, Mommy, hold on, Juma, hold on. Hi, Mommy. Yes, Mommy. No, Mommy. So he was really telling the truth. No, I mean, you, you have to have that respect, you know. She, she gives him, Mama, that troublesome, you know. <laughs> troublesome is not even the word. She troublesome and she's not easy. But what are you gonna do? When 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 she when she brought me up, she brought me up rough. And that teach me the values today. That today I can respect and I can honor. You know, I can I, I am intelligent. She 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 helped mold. She mold me. She put all the water and all the, the nutrients, all 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 the manure in my roots, so I could become a man. I can grow. You understand how I'm supposed to grow, and I am highly connected to my queen. All right, respect to mommy. Now, Mr. Killer, backtrack a little bit back to your mission. Now, you said to me you don't want to be known as an artist. What do you mean by that? I mean, <laughs> when I mean, I said that to you, I didn't say that to you to say it and an interview you know, to put me on the spot. You know. But every time every, we speak, every, it's an interview. Every, 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 <laughs> every, everybody out there, oh, the, um, the artist, and da, da 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 And some people feel that uh, when you're an artist, there is nothing else to you, that you're just a shell. You understand? If they feel, if, if they know you as, as being a man, or they know you as bounty killer, or they know you as, 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 as Marshall Montano, or they know behind, behind all that fame, behind all that color, there is a person, you know? And that person is the creator of his, his, his art. You understand why I'm showing you? So when I'm on stage, yes, I am the artist that you're looking at. But when I am off stage, you understand, I am, I am, I am, I am part of the creation. You understand of my art. I am a talent. You check it. Not just an artist. You know, it's not just me just creating. But I am also connected to everything and the dots of life. And the, I'm moving with the tick of time and the tick of life. You understand why I'm showing you? So I am, I, I am creation in its own kind. I'm not just. An artist. Okay. Now you're a young man, right? And you've hit the stage with many great soccer talents, such as Marshall Montano, Iowa George. I mean, tell me, what has the reception been like? Great. Really? All the time. Mash it up. <laughs> All the time. I mean, vibe. Me on stage. Stage is my place. Stage is my playground. Stage is my world put me on stage I'm going to do thing people that know me personally they know different uh, they know when I'm on stage and when I'm off stage I'm two is two different people F from I touch the mic it's like I'm, I'm plugged in to a whole different world you ever watch a movie Avatar yes it's when I'm plug in uh -huh. a whole different world yeah when I grab the mic plug in to a whole different world everything plug in nothing no plug out you understand why I show you it's just a whole different world. It's just a whole different vibe. It's like your brain start work like a computer. The people in front of you is 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 sharing out that energy that is charging you. You understand why I'm showing you? Having your having your, your mind working, your 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 your, your enzymes, your everything. You understand why I'm showing you? Atoms, the molecules in your brain is just on fire. You understand why I'm showing you? Yeah, I mean, you're so passionate about what you do. For the youths out there who are thinking about going into the music industry or anything in life, you know, what kind of advice do you have to offer? You have to stay positive. You must have confidence, self-confidence. You understand? You have to believe in yourself. You must believe in yourself because if you don't believe, then you can't, you can't create. You understand what I'm showing you? You have, to, you, have to, you have to have that belief, you have to have that faith in yourself. You must stay positive to your game, you know? You can't go get hooked on drugs. You're going to eat your brain away, so that means you're going to be part of what you're supposed to be. You know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be the whole you, you wouldn't be full on, you'll be part of what you're supposed to be. You understand? And things like that cause you to last a short while. 
you know i mean you must give the father thanks and praise because he will guide your steps you understand that is my faith that is my belief and to all the young artists out there just keep moving forward you understand don't stand up don't wait don't be a stone you understand what i'm showing you keep rolling keep moving and you have to dig sometimes not only money some artists carry it done because they focus on money sometimes you have to go the extra mile you understand sometimes you have to give up one for one you have to pursue your dream with full hundred and you will become the artist that you're supposed to you have to dream it you have to leave it you have to become it have you ever felt like giving up become frustrated and say you know what to heck with this yeah when i just started i got used and abused you understand what i'm showing you my talent got used and abused i will go do shows miles you care away. To el elaborate on that well yeah I will, I will do shows like for people and they will promise to pay them time they you know you don't have no manager you're just on your own and i searching you know and they will use and abuse my talent i will go mass up the show and everybody happy with my performance everybody like the show they want to come back next time but i didn't get paid sometimes i have to walk home right. you understand after i spend nights and nights in the studio sit down waiting for a turn just to get on the mic you know waiting for for something to happen for somebody to say yo look i remember spending going even in in other islands and spending days in in, in when I win, I have to represent my country and I got stuck in a hotel hungry for days and them kind of way like that, you know? So I go to the full, the full Andre, the whole, the, the full vibe, you know? Mm. So where do you get the inspiration to keep going? The father. And again, my mother, you know? Because I remember, my mother is a reverend minister. And at first, you know, it was hard to really get into the music with my mother being a reverend minister, you know? She would kick again certain things and the whole party vibes. But then after a while, she realized this is what I really want to do. And she becomes, she became one of my biggest supporters. You know, so she, she, I get the inspiration from the father and my drive from what I can do and I believe in myself. Yep. So what's next for you? Right now? Well, I mean... Right now it's just, as I say, branching off into different things, jumping on the train, finding, you know, the, the, the loopholes and everything to just become that, that, that worldwide artist, you know, I mean, the capabilities is, 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 is amazing and I know that I, I found it out. Sometimes I never used to believe in myself in the way that I supposed to, I think, up to now, because we all have weak stages and we have to build and grow. So there was times where I wasn't sure about the things that I could do, like I will be sitting home, I will be playing around with music, I will be, you know, I mean, spitting some different vibes and doing some different type of music and it's like, I used to sit down, record it, then laugh at it, you understand why, showing you, until other people hear it and realize, but no, you, you doing something different, you, you have a vibe, you understand why I'm showing you, and right now I'm, I'm taking that part of it serious, you know, getting into some different things. Not leaving my music, you know, I'm not leaving soca, a dancer, a, a, a reggae at all, I can't, that's my roots, you know. Now, in 2012, you came out with the party, the dance song, party, dance, pop, hip-hop, I don't even know what to call it. Yeah. Do you want a party? Yeah. Tell me, what is the song about? <clears throat> Do you want a party is... There's the ultimate party track. I mean, <laughs> do you want a party? Is is just I mean, the the track where you listen to and you say yeah, I feel like that sometimes. I felt like that last night. You understand why? So I felt like that last night. That yeah, that happened last night. I mean, when you listen to the song, the song is a is a different genre from dance or like reggae or soca. It's it's within a kind of um, pop kind of um, house and dance music, techno is kind of thing, you know? And people loving it, you understand? Yeah, we have a sample here at What's Up New York. I mean, you wouldn't get the full drift of the song, you know? Because, I mean, you know, the, 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 um, the dance rhythm different, the hold, you understand the vibe, but you go like, um, I wanna party out, so what should I do? Yeah, I'm gonna buy at the bar, I'm gonna drink that. 
booze, I just wanna get high. Yeah. <laughs> you know, them kind of vibes like that. You check it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's a different vibes, you know? This girl is looking at me, so what should I do? Hey, I, I want to take you back to my hotel and put some love on you. I just want to get high. Hey, I, hey, I, hey, I, hey, I just want to get high. You know them kind of vibes. But you have to hear the song when they read them because you have to read them. You know, pumping in the back. and It's a whole different vibe. And I have a lot more to come. They just start. I have a song named I'm So Hot. You know, that song. I love that song. Why, why do you I, like that song? Because it just expresses who I am. Now, before we go, you're known for doing The Animal. Mm. Tell the people, what is The Animal? The Animal is The Animal. The Animal is the animal, you know, the animal is, is animal behavior. I mean, the dance, we have a dance called Animal. I bought it, um, I think it's 2005. First place was Trinidad, where I, I bought a moonwalk across the stage, backflip, and end up whining on the girl upside down, standing on my hands. Um, and that was the first um, um, incident. <laughs> You know, that is when I first bust that style and it was crazy, whining on a girl upside down. And then I will and then I will kick off running across the stage but end up on my hand and my foot at the same time, comfortable as any animal can be. You understand what I'm saying? I mean it, it it's it, it's just a different you have to see it to understand what I'm saying, you know. So yeah, you have to see it. So all who tune in and looking, remember Mr. Killer, you could go on YouTube, look me up. You know, I mean, there was a bungalow things there, but remember, the future is is, is gonna be greater because what you're gonna see on YouTube is is still history. You understand? Right now, I'm gonna create a whole new vibe. We're looking to do a video in Brooklyn, in Manhattan soon, and a true name, I I I. You know, for the for the girls. If I couldn't do music, I would. If I couldn't do music, I would die. <laughs> Why would you die? Oh my God! If I couldn't do music, yo, between me and you, every interview, this one yeah, tough. Just to think about it make me feel sad. Break your try, break me down. <laughs> try to, yo, thinking about it is stressful. If I couldn't do music. Wow. If I couldn't do music, maybe you understand it might have been different. I might not even think about doing music, you know? But being an artist now and asking me that question, if I couldn't do music takes away I don't know, everything. It takes away half of the man standing in the mirror. You know? I mean, there is life after all, and life is the greatest gift. You understand why I'm showing you? So, if I can't do music, I wouldn't say, well, I mean, saying I will die is just using a term to say that I will crash. You understand? I mean, but life is the greatest gift. And me doing being an artist right now, if tomorrow I can't do music, I think half of me is, 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 is gone. A very precious part of me is gone because the gift that I have from the Father is is like my main pillars you understand what i'm showing is holding my, my 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 building of creation the the ability you understand to connect with the world music you know, the most international language that could ever be spoken you understand why i'm showing you not just on earth but between here and mars you know and it makes me multilingual you catch it so i can speak to any nation through my music and which people far and wide i think that's a blessing you know someone showing you i think that is just amazing and if i can't do that i don't think i i i, I don't know I, i'll live i'll survive I, i'm a survivor but it's gonna be tough you know you're gonna be very very emotional you know 
I'll die slowly. Goodbye. Yeah, I'll die slowly. Crazy. Now, you know what? It's great to see a young man with such passion about what he does, you know, musically. I'm sure the folks at home also see the same thing that I see. Tell them, how can they get in contact with you? Book a show, your music, etc. I mean, on Facebook, right now I'm setting up some new things. So, I mean, I mean, interviews following up this. But for now, you can go on Facebook, look for Hollis Map, H-O-L-L-I-C-E-M-A-P-P. -P. That's, um, that's my, my right name and it's my like page, my artist page. You can search for Mr. Killer on there also. You're going to find me. Um, you could leave me a Facebook message or something. Um, Twitter at Hollis Map. Um, you could find me there also. Um, you, YouTube me. I have a YouTube channel, so you can leave comments. You can leave contacts on there on YouTube. M R K I L L E. Look for the um, ultimate channel, and you could you could find me on there. I mean, it's just so much ways. And if you can't do that, just Google me. <laughs> Google. <laughs> yeah, no, before we go, is there anyone you want to say what's up to? Well, I must say what's up to all my fans. You understand what I'm showing you? All my friends out there. All my friends. And I think it will be unfair just to call some names and I can't call all. So all my friends out there, all my fans out there, all my family out there, I must say big up to my mother. What's up? What, oh, what's up? I must say what's up to my mother. What's up, mama? You know, what's up to my sister, my brothers, um, dada, you don't know. Just, I don't know, what's up to everybody out there. And the Almighty Father, well, uh, my... And of course, we have to say what's up to Footprints Cafe for having us here today, right? Footprints? Footprints food, good. The steam fish? Lord God. Steam every day. I will come to footprint. No, I'm, I swear, footprint. The, you know, when you when you leave the Caribbean, and you, and and you, and you travel, you come to New York, or you go to London, or, or anywhere, Spain, France. Or, you ask for the food that you that you are accustomed to, until you're ready to really experiment. You know, and when you ask for the food that you're accustomed to, it tastes different. It tastes far away from what it tastes home. You know, especially when mama cook it. You know, mama cooking is the best. So, you're looking, you're still looking for that, for that, for that, for that fish that tastes like mama fish. Footprint fish tastes like mama fish. The other day, I had a one fish, and when I start, when I, when I, just from smelling it, I said, but no, this smell familiar. It, it, it smell home. You understand? Some good homemade food. And trust me, I mean, delicious with the okra and uh, okay. Let me stop talking about the okra before I get hungry. Footprints, big up, big time. You, you know, <laughs> there we have it, New York, Mr. Killer on What's Up, New York. Big things to come. Thank you. I, I, yo, if I have to give footprints, I, 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 I want to sign my name it in footprints and I sign just because of the food. And, but I want the footprint, I give them a handprint. I want to dip my hand in some paint and just stick it on the wall. <laughs> a high five footprint. <laughs> and that's what's up, New York.